Good afternoon players, welcome back to another one of my videos. Hope you enjoyed the last one, it was a bit strange, but you know, I had to take my anger out on something. Uh, today's video is about Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare. I must say I've had a lot of fun playing it, and if you haven't already gone out and got it, I'd say either rent a copy or go pick one up. Because it is very fun to play, it's a nice change from all the usual shooters like Call of Duty and things like that. Now you got the two teams, you got the zombies of course, and you got the plants which are defending their gardens. Now the zombies you've got four classes, you got the soldier, which I am using now, which is quite handy, you've got the rocket launcher on his back, which you can use to rocket jump, and you can also use it as a bazooka, <coughs> which you'll see a couple of times in this. Um, you also have a smoke grenade, which is almost like poisonous. The plants get hurt in it, but the zombies don't. Um, you've also got the other class is a scientist, which is basically a healer. He's quite handy. He can he's got a teleport skill, which you can use to teleport a short distance out of harm's way. Uh, he's got a healing station, uh, a couple of other things. There's an all-star zombie, which is just basically like a machine gun zombie. You can see him there in the red. He's quite good. I think he's got unlimited ammo, but his gun overheats if you use it for a long period of time, so you've got to wait for it to cool down. There he is in front of me. Um, there's also an engineer zombie. He's quite cool. Uh, use him to build the teleporters in this game mode which is gardens and graveyards uh, he's got a I can't remember what it's called now a pole driver um, a hammer thing you ride on it anyway and you get around quicker he's got a concrete launcher which does quite a bit of damage well when you hit him head on you do get splash damage as well uh, there's quite a lot of customization to this game, as in like player-wise. You unlock them using these sticker packs, which you will see at the end of this. Uh, you get different stuff from sunglasses to hats to well, anything you can really think of. Tattoos, you'll see it on different players. There's quite a lot of stuff. I've only unlocked a certain amount, but there's got to be hundreds on there for each class. You get different characters for each class as in like the soldier there's five i think five maybe six different classes as in like fire ice different things same as on the plants they get the pea shooter which is that one you see now he's got one which is fire one that's ice one that's poison um another one that's like a sheriff one which is basically a revolver and there's another one which is Commando, which is basically like a machine gun, semi-automatic machine gun sort of thing. Fires a little quicker. But yeah, there's lots of customization to keep you occupied. You obviously unlock it using the money you see in this, so you get so much for each kill and so on. Each objective gives you a little extra. And yeah, it just keeps it more entertaining, so to speak. So you're not looking at the same thing constantly. But there's different game modes, so you got this one, which is just finished, is Gardens and Graveyards, which is the objective is the zombies have got to capture the gardens from the plants, and vice versa, the plants have got to try and stop them, and I think there's five graveyards, or you'll see it at the end, and if the zombies manage to capture them all, they win, and if the plants manage to stop them, they win, you get the point. There's Team Vanquish, which is just basically Team Deathmatch. There's two versions of it. There's a classic, and there's one that you can use your custom character on. Classic is just basically use the standard one, standard model, like the pea shooter. As you can see me using now, he's basically the plant version of a zombie. No, no a zombie, sorry, a soldier. <laughs> Getting mixed up there. There's also a game mode called Gnome Bomb, which is basically search and destroy. One team has to get the, it's basically a gnome with a bomb strapped to it. And they've got to take it to a certain place, I think there's about four or five different places. 
they have to go there, plant it, and the other team has to go and defuse it within a certain amount of time. And I think, well, I think the way it works is they have to blow up so many uh, objectives before they can win, and there's a certain time limit. Um, there's also a mixed mode, which is you just go on and it basically throws you into a random game mode, which could be Team Vanquish or Gardens and Graveyards. There's a garden ops mode as well, which is basically waves. You've got 10 waves of zombies, you play as the plants, and you've got to protect a certain garden. Well, you pick where you want to place it, there's about five different spots. Pick the best place that you want to guard it, and you've got a team of four, and it's just wave after wave of zombies that you've got to protect against. There's a couple of boss modes, which you've got a gargantuan, which is basically a huge zombie with a telephone pole with electricity with a little zombie on his back there's um, a yeti which is just like a snow monster um, there's a zombie which I call disco stew which is literally just a disco zombie he's one of the bosses and there's like tombstones where the zombies spawn from and you have to destroy them otherwise they just keep spawning from it and there's obviously so many zombies per wave but unless you've got a good team, it does get quite difficult at times. Especially if you haven't got a right strategy for it. Now, for the plants team, you got pretty much the same as the zombies, but they've got different strategies and like, skill sets. You've got the pea shooter, which you're seeing now, which is the same as the soldier. He's got basically like a haste mode, a frenzy, where he just speeds up and you can like, do a super jump. He's got a Gatling gun, which you set yourself in place, and you just fire off like a machine gun. And he's got a chili bean bomb, which if you place it in the right spot, you can take out about I don't know, five players in one go, if they're all around it. It's quite deadly. Um, there's a chomper, which is one of the purple things you'll see going around, big mouth. Uh, he's quite hard to use, you have to play very tactically with him. He's got like a little goop, like gunge skill that slows them down if you fire it at them, and then you can go behind them and chomp them, eat them up in one go. Uh, another one of his skills is he digs underground and you can sneak up behind them if they don't see you. You can still see like the bits of soil on the surface moving, so you can keep track of them. But yeah, uh, he's quite cool. There's um. There's a sunflower, which is basically like the scientist, he's a healer, but he can put down little plant pots that pull out little bits of sun rays that heal you as well. Um, he's got a sunbeam, which is basically like the Gatling gun, he places himself down and he can fire it for so long, which does an alright amount of damage if you get him head on with each shot. Um, I can't quite remember what his other skill was, but yeah, they've all got three skills. And the last one is the cactus, which is basically like a sniper. But he's quite cool, because he's got a little helicopter onion sort of thing, which can go around, you hover it around, it's got a certain amount of time before it runs out, but it's got a little machine gun on it, and you can call in almost like a mortar strike, missile strike, you wait for it to load, then you call a spot and it fires down little corn cobs, it fires, I think it fires about 10 in a little circle and then it blows up and anything caught in it basically gets killed. <coughs> and he's good at a distance, he does quite a lot of damage with each shot, but he's obviously slow firing. Um, and The standard ones are good but they get even better when you start opening the sticker packs because then you start getting like the fire especially like the sunflower and the chomper you get like a fire sunflower which sets them on fire with each hit which obviously does more damage uh, you get an ice one which is a bit obvious it slows them down every time but I'm not sure how like the period of time it does it for there's a poison one, which obviously poisons them for a couple of seconds with each hit. Not 100% sure on the damage rate, but it's normally quite effective. 
and it's the same for each class so you got like I said earlier with the pea shooter you got a couple of different ones so you got like the sheriff one which is the revolver and the commando which is like a machine gun one I think each class has one like that so you got it's basically different weapons so if you don't like the one style of play you can unlock another one and use that but like, the zombies have it as well like the scientist you've got a marine biologist scientist which basically fires dolphins out of his gun you've got um, a spaceman scientist which fires I believe bits of moon rock and things like that which is quite cool and each time you unlock it they each have their own customization so you may unlock like a set of sunglasses for this character but then you go and use the commando and he'll have a different set of customizations so he'll have different tattoos uh, different glasses different uh, everything really <clears throat> I believe you can get skins for the weapons as well to change the style of them for the zombies I haven't got any yet but from what I've seen you can get them some of them look quite cool so all in all if you haven't already played this game or if you've seen a friend playing it I highly recommend going out and getting it and giving it even a couple of hours of play because if you're a proper gamer you'll probably fall in love with it especially if you enjoy having fun it's it still has strategy in it and certain aspects of other shooters that you see but it's just more chilled out obviously these little video clips that you're watching now look a bit hectic you do get some games like it but other games it's nice and peaceful you can just relax and have a pretty chilled game especially if you've got friends with you so yeah hopefully you can go find yourself a coffee and have as much fun on it as I have because it's definitely a game that I'll go back to and play sadly I forgot to mention it is only online a bit like Titanfall and there isn't really a campaign to it but even so it's if you have Xbox Live or anything like that it's definitely worth a go I thoroughly enjoy it and I'd like to thank you for watching and hopefully I shall see you in my next upload. Once again, not sure what it will be yet, but hopefully it should be quite interesting. And well, thank you very much and goodbye. Happy gaming.